right, so in this video, we're going to talk about slope and rate of change. So we've already talked a little bit about the coordinate plane, and we can use the coordinate plane to represent the relationship between two things. Before, we've mostly talked about some variable x and some variable y. It could be more specific. So in healthcare, you might have the concentration of some solution versus time. So time is the independent variable, right? Time goes on, we, it, we, can't, we can't change it. Um, and then concentration is the dependent variable. So the concentra how concentrated our solution is depends on time. And as we can see, as our time is going up, what's, as our time gets bigger, what happens to our concentration? Well, our concentration increases as well. And so something we might want to know about is, well, how quickly is this concentration increasing? And that's where slope comes in. So slope in math seems, means exactly the same thing as slope in real life. So if you think about the slope, slope in real life, you might think about the slope of a hill. That tells us how steep it is, and it means the same thing in math. If we talk about the slope of this graph, we're saying how steep or how quickly is this graph rising, or if it's going down, how quickly is it falling. So if we want to find the slope, we have to know what that means in mathematical terms. And in math, we measure it by taking the change in y, and change in y or the rise. Um, sometimes we use, if we use fancy notation, we use this delta, right? So that means change in. So we take the change in the y, so how fast did it go up? over the change in the x. Um, or the run. Or if we're using fancy letter, or fancy notation, we would say delta x. So we look at how fast we went up for each unit we go forward. So looking at our graph here, if we go over 1, right, we go up 1, two. So my run, my change in my x, so the slope for our graph, the change in the x, for each one we go over, we go up two. And you could, you could go from any point on the graph. So if I went over two, I would go up four. So, right? We get the same. Um, if we chose a different point on the graph to start, it wouldn't matter, and I went over 1. I, to get to the next point on the graph, I would go up 2. So the slope, the nice thing about a, a line, the slope is always the same. It doesn't change. No matter what spot you pick on the line, if we go over a certain amount, say 2, and we go up to the next spot point on that line, that would be 4, it's always going to have a ratio of 2 to 1, so up 2 over 1. And that is exactly how we measure the slope in math. So we would say that this graph has a slope of 2. 